Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and you're probably here because you're investigating Intuit websites powered by Homestead. In order to give a good review, I purchased an Intuit website for six months to try it out for myself. You can read all the details on the review on my blog post, but before we do that, I want to show you an on-screen tutorial of what the website builder looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look. We are in the back office of my Intuit websites account. I've logged in and they immediately take you to a get started page and there's uh, four options on the left hand side. We're going to go into the websites manager but you can click on domains to manage the domains in your account. Uh, you can purchase your own domain separately from a registrar like GoDaddy and link it to your Intuit website. And they have some add-on services that they offer you which I won't cover in this video. So we're going to go into the Websites Manager. And you could have multiple websites within your account. I only have one. I created this example website just to familiarize myself with the Intuit Website Builder, which is powered by Homestead. So here you see the website that I created. It's pretty basic. Uh, most of their websites are pretty basic in design. Um, you know, I have five pages with some photos that I added and I edited the text and inserted a video, just some basic things to understand how it works so I can uh, write a review and show you this video and see if it's a good fit for you. So I'm back in the Intuit Websites, Websites Manager and you have some options here. This is the domain that I purchased to host my example website. And you can click Edit Site to enter the Website Builder and make changes to the website or build your website for the first time. So that's where we're going to spend some time on this video just to give you an idea of how the Website Builder works with Intuit Websites. So this is what the Site Builder looks like. Up at the top you'll see all the tools for building your website and we'll go through that first. Here you can go to the different pages of your website. This drop down has settings for the different pages like background, links, and the footer. It also has advanced settings for a different code you may want to add to the page. And you can also change the page name and description. So we're not going to spend too much time in there. And then here you can, here's one of the main tools you'll use. It's the insert tab and allows you to insert text image, photo galleries, video player, YouTube videos, social buttons, contact forms, uh, store links like payment buttons, you can link to PayPal, you can add maps, uh, rectangle and circle shapes, and all kinds of different things under the more tab like guestbook, PayPal button, HTML codes, standard buttons to link to any site or page on your own site. So there's a lot of options in here for adding items into your website. Here you have just basic cut, copy, paste, undo, delete, and save options. So most of your work's going to be done through this insert tab. And the templates have pre-designed placeholders for text, contact forms, and images. So there's templates for different types of pages. So you might have an about page or a contact page and the site builder is going to give you suggestions for where to place text. So it could be as simple as just going in and editing the text, but you may need to move things around to accommodate the, uh, the content that you want on your website. Down on the bottom of the page in the main area is your site preview. So it shows you your site almost live, but it's actually within the website builder. And you'll see when I scroll over things, they change color and you can click on them and edit them. For example, up in the header, you'll notice clicking on things doesn't actually bring up any options, which is not so intuitive, but it took me a minute to find out that I had to click this button, which says make changes to all your pages in one place. And if I click that, I can then edit these things in the header, which are on every page. So for example, I can change this text can double click and, and type in here 
And on the right hand side there's settings like the font, size, color, background color. So you can change some of the settings within that box you clicked on. Here I can click on the navigation and change the links and the order and the style of the navigation menu here. So I'm going to return to the individual page and stop editing the header area. So here I can click on this image, I can replace it, I can edit it. They give you some nice tools for changing brightness, contrast, add effects, or crop an image, so that's nice. They also give you a library of images, stock images that you can use on your website. And if I scroll down the page, you'll see a text block that I already edited. So you can click on any text block. And if you double click in the box, you can select text and edit it. And then again, you'll see all the settings on the right hand side for changing font color, alignment, background color, and different um, padding options and border options for each text box. So basically you'll change these text these text boxes throughout your site in order to add your content. So I'll scroll down to this empty space and show you how I would insert another piece of content. So for example, you can click on text. And here's one thing I don't like about this website builder. Other website builders like Weebly, which I wrote a review on, will allow you to drag items and automatically place them so that they're never overlapping. In this case, you could create items that overlap, which you're never really going to want to do unless you're creating some kind of design element. But with the Intuit Website Builder, you pretty much drag items wherever you want. So you kind of have to manual, manually align things. So in this case, I added a text block, and I can double-click and change the text and add any text I want there you could copy and paste and then on the right hand side I can change the color make it bold add a background color so you can see it's really easy to add text and change the look of it and you could insert other items below that for example an image if I click image they're gonna ask me to upload or search for an image in the image library so I will go ahead and show you what the what their image library looks like if you click on business for example they'll give you a bunch of business pictures and I can select one of them and click use image and here they're saying the image is too large would you like to make it smaller I'll say yes You can resize an image. You'll see even when I'm clicking and dragging around, it's slightly awkward, um, which is a problem with the website builder. But once you click around, you usually get used to it. But um, some people will have trouble getting the hang of it and realizing that you have to click on an item before you select and move it or change its options. So that's how easy it is to add text, content, and pictures. And you could add other content in the same way. And when you're ready to edit another page, you can simply go to the View Page dropdown and select another page. So that's going to take me to the About Us page where I can customize. Here you'll see the layout that they created for me. For an About page, they gave me text, a title, two pictures down here and a right sidebar with a contact us button and a little tagline here. So you can go ahead and just use their template or you can delete these items and just add your own design. And at any time while you're building your site, you can click the preview button here and it will build you a preview of your website live in your browser so you can see how your changes look live. So for example, I can click on the home page and see those few changes that I made with the yellow text box and the picture. And then you can simply go back to your site builder and continue making changes. And when you're happy with the changes you've made, you can save them 
or you can click publish to make them live on your website. So that's a basic overview of the website builder that Intuit gives you. There's a lot of options I didn't cover, but I just wanted to give you an overview of how easy or difficult it is to build your website. You can build a website pretty quickly using this, and, and most people will be able to do it without too much trouble. Um, the one downside to it is probably the design, in my opinion. The templates that come with the website builder are not very professional, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what those look like. It's going to ask me if I want to save the changes. I'm going to say no, and it's going to take me back to the website dashboard, the account dashboard. You already saw my site design, which is a pretty basic design template, but most of their design templates are pretty standard um, because of the architecture of the website builder they can't do anything too fancy so you're gonna get a pretty basic look with your website to look at the different designs you can click on choose a different design and they're gonna give you a warning here that says if you change your website design it will delete your current site pages and files and you'll basically be starting from scratch which is a pretty negative aspect of the Intuit website builder um, other website builders like Weebly will allow you to switch design themes quickly and easily without losing all your content. In this case, I'm not going to change mine, but I will click Browse Gallery just so you can see a gallery of all the different design themes that they offer. And you can scroll through and see they have different colors, um, but you can even tell from these small thumbnails that they're pretty basic. Uh, you're, you're not really going to impress anybody with these designs. Most people will be able to tell that you're using cheap templates if you use uh, Intuit websites. So it is easy to build a website. It's pretty affordable because you're doing it yourself and you're not going to spend you know, $1,000 or more for a web designer to create your website. But you will be limited in the look of your site and how much you can customize it and just the overall professionalism of the site because you will be using these design templates. And once you choose your design theme, it will be difficult to switch between them without starting over from scratch. So that's an overview of the Intuit website builder powered by Homestead. Um, as you could probably tell by my tone during this video, there's some positive aspects to the website builder. I do like website builders in general for people who want to build a website on their own at an affordable cost but don't have the knowledge to use HTML and build a website from scratch. The major negative aspects of the Intuit website builder are the design themes that in my opinion are not very professional and the website builder while it's easy to use for some people some people will find it a little bit clunky and difficult to use and will end up with sites that don't align and have overlapping text and images when you compare the Intuit Website Builder with other website builders like Weebly, for example, it's really just not a good value. You can actually get a better, more intuitive website builder and more professional design themes with Weebly's free or starter account, which is cheaper than the Intuit Website Builder. And if you're interested in Weebly, you can find a link to my Weebly review in the blog post that accompanies this video. So make sure to read that entire blog post because it gives some more details on my experience and my complete review of the Intuit website builder. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions about anything I describe here, make sure to comment on my blog post or below the video. Since you're in the market for a new website, make sure to check out my complete website package. I'm only offering it to 200 clients and it'll allow you to get a professional design that's much better than the Intuit website templates and I'll build the website for you and provide ongoing maintenance. So it's a great fit for some people who uh, are just looking for a professional website but don't have the time or the knowledge to build it themselves. So make sure to click around my website and see what I can do to help you.